Yeah, I was I was looking at it later that night. I think it might have been me, the lip three. Um, although. Teeth? Okay, so this is the multipolar neuron slide. And so it especially seems so that the, the neurons are the blue. See that there's one there. And there's one there. So for the histology exam, um, are you gonna ask what the slide is or are you gonna ask like point what the slide is? No, specific structures. Okay. Yeah, I mean, well, it depends on the slide. You know, I mean, if it's yellow, like it's like the specific one, this one, or would it be like the multi, whatever slide? It would be like the slide? Yeah, so it would be, for example, what's this? Okay, what's this particular part of the cell? The cell not our cell body, yeah, main part. There's the nucleus. So nerve fiber, dendrites or axons, you do not need to differentiate them, it says. And so that's referring to, for example, I could say what's this structure? Yeah, and you could say axon or you could say dendrite. just the nuclei showing up. So the dark pink is the nuclei of all of those neuroglial cells. So you do not have to differentiate um, the different types. nucleus of neuroglia cell. Make sense? You don't have to, do, to specify. The nucleus of the neuroglia cell? Yeah, or you could just say that's the neuroglia. Okay, the neuroglia, neuroglia cell. Neuroglia or nucleus of neuroglia mm -hmm. would be the same? Sure. Thank you. 
Yeah, I just put a different one. Purple. Not purple. Purple. Clear. That looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there it is without the lens. Is it better with the lens? Same difference. It's pretty much the same. Intercalated disc. Intercalated disc. Good. Intercalated disc. Nucleus. Striping is striations. Uh, where one cell ends and the next begins is very tricky at the intercalated disc, but to point it out is pretty tricky unless you kind of look for it. Like, find maybe one where you can actually see it. So it looks like to me right here we've got one cell. Although that nucleus is supposed to be one nucleus per cell. So I'm not sure that one might be part of this one over here. So I think that slide's pretty easy. So it's just yeah, right. it's just uh, nucleus striations and inter <coughs> inter intercalated disks. Intercalated disks, yep, nucleus striations. And what kind of a I could what say, well what's the whole what's the whole structure here called? That would be a cardiocyte or cardiac muscle Yeah, cardiac fiber. muscle cell or cardiocyte, cardiac muscle fiber. Those are all synonyms. far away <coughs> such that you can't really see what the cell cells themselves look like but we're looking at this tissue here so let's go a little closer okay so you should be able to tell at this point what kind of tissue is this smooth muscle yeah, make sure you say smooth muscle. You need both those words. We need to know it's muscle. We need to know which type of muscle. with the tapered ends, call that spindle shape. One nucleus per cell. Do you need 
donations on that? No. No. Check out our other slides. Our other slides as well. This is one that I put the picture up for you to look over. You know what kind of tissue we're looking at here? Skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle tissue, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is the cross section that we're seeing here. There's the occasional longitudinal fiber but mostly the cross section. The, the bundles aren't very well defined. So I was looking on the slide, but this particular slide doesn't have very well defined. What are these bundles of cells? What's that called? Fascicles. Yeah, fascicle. Here's one that's fairly well defined. The fascicle. Okay, so fascicle is a bundle of skeletal muscle cells. Okay, so we don't see the epimysium. That would be around the entire muscle. But around this layer right here? Paramecium. Yeah, that's the paramecium. Good. <coughs> the collagen fibers. And we can get a little closer. all kind of blend in together, don't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll look through the other slides and see if we have an example as good as the picture I took a few years ago. If not, then I probably should use that one. Interesting. Okay, so it's pretty tough to differentiate the individual structures. Uh, maybe one right here. Okay, so what's this individual structure? Endo. Well, the whole thing, not the layer around it, but including the whole thing here. Yeah, skeletal muscle cell. That's a cell or fiber, skeletal muscle fiber, skeletal muscle cell. What about this dark structure? The nucleus, yeah. And then we can't really see it too well, but the layer that goes around the cell. That's the endo, yeah, the endomysium, yeah. Pretty fine, um, fine layer of reticular fibers. Yeah, definitely the one that you showed the other day was better. Was much better, yeah. yeah. It's kind of rough. I thought I unlocked that door. You did. <laughs> Endomysium is the layer around it. This is the muscle cell. Nucleus. How many nuclei? Just one or more than one per cell? Multi, more than one, multinucleated? Yes. Uh, does it have. See right here. Is it some longitudinal fibers right here? Oh, these are nice. Do you see the striping? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the striations. And you can see how there's lots of, of nuclei. That's a nice one. Nice long. Fiber right there, so all delta muscle fiber. Skeletal muscle tissue multinucleated? Yes. All. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, question? When you said that the epimycin is around the whole muscle, this one is the tongue, right? This one is the tongue, and I so don't think the tongue be? has one. Oh. As far as I know. Because oh, okay. it's a, we have, we have, um, I mean, I have to double check, but it wouldn't make sense. We have five, uh, two spuds, yeah. and so the epimycin is a, you know when you're dissecting the cat muscles and each of the muscles has that kind of tough yeah. layer around it? 
and then you accidentally maybe cut it and then you see the fibers coming up and you're like, oh, cutting into the muscle. <laughs> you know, some of you are nodding. That's the epimysium. So I mean, it's not always super obvious, but it does look like a pretty top protective layer. It's that dense irregular, so. I'm sorry, I don't know that. I just never got around to looking on it. But I assume the tongue doesn't have it. Okay, so what's this entire structure right here? What's this cylindrical, this whole one? Not the tissue. Tissue is a type of tissue. Skeletal muscle the fiber. Skeletal muscle fiber. Good. Because that's better, actually, than our teased, our teased fibers. It's really dark. And so over here, there's some more of the fibers that are oriented longitudinally on the same slide. So this structure is a skeletal muscle fiber cell. There's another one, and another one, and another one. Some blood vessels. And anything else on this slide? Um, here's some cells that are a little, mm, not very circular, but a little more separated out from one another. Here's a cell, here's a cell. Oh, they're kind of funky over there. Okay. Okay. This T slide is really good as well. This one's dark. You guys thinking about taking home a cat in the spring break? Mm -hmm. I have one student who wants to. I was thinking of it's, it's nice if we can get a couple of students to be willing to take it home, and then if we can take a list of students that are interested in studying it, and then that person who takes the cat home can kind of post a, post a study session. That's really up to them. I have had students do it in the past. Usually only one or two cats in like the whole class. Because most people aren't willing. But it's such a long break. It's kind of a good idea. Yeah, this is what I would like. Crib, put his feet up against the bottom of the crib and started pushing 
and the crib, the whole crib started to come. I don't think, even if he did full extend, I don't think he could talk, could tip it. But <laughs> I'm standing outside of the crib, and here comes the whole crib. <laughs> it's a full size crib. Oh my gosh, get out from underneath there. Oh, and now we have a side fence where one one stake, it's, a, it's not a very tall fence, but it's about, it's about this high. And one stake is broken off of the top. And so, you know, the rest of them, there's like, you know, the rest of the, so he wouldn't normally be able, and so what he does is he hoists himself up on his chest, so he's right where the one missing stake is, and that's the fence that goes to the front yard. Like, oh. <laughs> when we bought the house, I looked at that fence, and I thought, oh boy, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> First that we fixed it, no, but we're not very handy, so to hire somebody to do that. Okay, so here, um, here's part of the neuron. What, what part of the neuron is that? Synaptic. The synaptic terminal. Yeah, synaptic terminal. Yeah. <laughs> Synaptic terminal. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, there's other names too, but I think we'll just kind of try to emphasize one so you don't get confused. Um, so synaptic terminal is part of the neurons, the end, the terminal end, the outgoing end of the neuron. Like the little E T finger is what I was saying. Um, these fine branches of the axon, what is this structure here? Telodendrian. Yeah, the telodendrian, uh-huh. Telodendrian or telodendrite. Yeah, telodendrite. And here's another one. Sorry, it's right there. I'm searching for something better. Okay, and so this connection here where these two structures meet, this is where the neuron talks to the skeletal muscle fiber. It's really more of an electric question because it would be hard to word Synaptic. that. What is this meeting where they communicate? What's that called? The communi communication to? The motor function. Conjunction. What's it called um, when the terminal bouton or synaptic terminal communicates with the motor end plate of the muscle fiber? Neuromuscular. That's the neuromuscular synapse. So that's a hard, that's a hard one really for it's more of a lecture question. Okay, but I could say, well, what's the specialized region of the cell membrane? Right in the, underneath that. What's the specialized region of this cell's membrane called? Something, the something junction? Plate. Yeah, the motor end plate. That is on your list, right? Motor end plate. Throw it out there. Just we went over it in... Uh, Last night or other night? Is it on your list? No, it's not. We went over it in lecture, though. It's not on your list. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> but we went over it in lecture. Okay, so telogendrian... Uh, synaptic terminal, we got that, we got that, we got the muscle fiber, we know there's striations, we're just not seeing them on this slide. So is it telia of dendrites or telia of dendrites? The same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Any questions? So here, Sarah, how can we um, differentiate between uh, the bouton and the nucleus? The bouton and the nucleus. The nucleus of the neuron is in the cell body, is in the soma. And so you might be asking about the nucleus of the skeletal muscle fiber. Is that what you mean? Uh huh. Oh, okay. Versus the, I thought you meant of the neuron. Because they were like, it could have easily been confused with uh, the nucleus. The nucleus. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, let me show you here, which is poor, and then I'll get that other picture back up. These have the little vesicles in them. There's a couple ways. They're connected, they're the connected to the little stringy things, right, to the telodendrion, and they also have the vesicles, the, the vesicles in them, the neurotransmitters. Wait, what's another word for the bouton? Synaptic terminal? Synaptic terminal. Or terminal bouton. Yeah, I'll, I can even
see the motor in place then as a separate item? <coughs> no. So is a bouton also known as a synaptic terminal? Yeah. So which one you rather prefer? Okay.
helps a lot. I got a lot of Danica. A lot of Danica. She's all. Okay, how about what's this structure? There's one right here and the other the rest of there. What's that structure? That's a sebaceous gland. Good. Sebaceous gland, right here. Which one is that? Which slide is that? The axillary? This is axillary F11L. What's this right here? <laughs> the root of the helifrancal. I'm tricking you. Sebaceous. Yeah, sebaceous. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. <laughs> That's adipose. Hey, what's wrong with her? Okay, what about. You're still going to be lenient with the spelling? Yes. Okay. Okay, how about what is this mm, sublayer from here about up to about there? Sublayer. This. Papillary layer. Sub or sublayer. Yeah, papillary. Papillary, papillary sublayer of the dermis. Mm -hmm. You don't have to say of the dermis, but yeah, that's the papillary sublayer of the dermis. Well, it's 
the edge that, uh, the, that portion that connects to the dermal papilla? Well, no, it's not this. It's this, where it goes down. It's where it goes down, where it not where down. it goes Here, up. Where is I'm the, pointing. Up is the papilla, down is the epidermal ridge? Yes. You see where we are? There's the surface. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's this structure? Sweat glands. Yeah, that's the sweat gland. Different than the other one. Would you do that again? I'm sorry, I was turning it on. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a little different than the other ones we saw. It's a little. It's the other type, so the, the lumen is a little bit bigger. That's the sweat gland. That's so the lumen gland. is bigger in those. Yeah. And so what what main layer are we in here? What main layer? Cutaneous. Subcutaneous. Not the tissue type. Particular. Mostly, but the hypodermis. 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 And that's when you get a shot. That's the layer that they usually put in. Mm -hmm. Is the sweat gland always in the hypodermis? Um, not no, necessarily. No, they're the, these ones can be in the deeper layers of the dermis or in the hypodermis. The other types are usually a little more superficial. So, to tell the sweat gland from the sebaceous gland, does, does it always have a more a larger lumen, or the sebaceous gland doesn't have a doesn't have a lumen. It's okay. It's just the, you see the kind of bubbly, let's see. Uh, this will be the last thing we're gonna look at here. Then we gotta go. That's the sebaceous gland up close. Okay. Kind of more bubbly looking cells with the, nu whoops, with the nuclei in there. So these are the sebaceous gland cells. further away it looks like that. Okay. okay.